Let's compare today the difference between Prismacolor and Polychromos colored pencils. They're two particularly popular brands and I think it's quite difficult to know which one you should buy or which one is best. So I want to go through today the main differences between these sets. And then I think the best thing to do will be to draw the same picture with both pencils so you can see how they both actually perform. Now I would usually start in a particularly obvious place by talking about the price. Now I'm going to skip over this today mostly because the prices that I can get for each of these sets of pencils here will be different in different countries and it seems like in some countries Polychromos are more expensive and in some countries Prismacolor are more expensive. So let's not compare that. Let's start off by thinking about what each type of pencil is made of. So they both use different binding agents. Prismacolor are a wax based pencil and Polychromos are an oil based based pencil. This is essentially what the lead is made out of. Now the Prismacolor with the wax based lead, it basically generally means that it feels creamier. I describe it as a bit more blendable and generally a softer lead. This means it is absolutely amazing if you want to create a really smooth colour. So something like if you're drawing a portrait or if you're drawing something like we'll be drawing a little bit later those cherries, getting a really smooth and consistent colour color the prisma colors are amazing at that that said they're not as good at fine details so if you're drawing something like fur where you want to get a lot of detail into that texture they're not as good at that because the lead is so soft it tends to wear down it doesn't hold a point as well now polychromos are the exact opposite of this because they are oil based the lead is much harder and this means as i say the exact opposite they are amazing at fine detail. If you're drawing something like fur or anything with a lot of details, they are so good at that. They're not as good at getting a really smooth and consistent blend, or certainly it's not as easy. Now, although generally speaking, that is true, it doesn't by any stretch mean that you can't draw detailed objects or fur with Prismacolor, and it doesn't mean that you can't create smooth items with Polychromos. It's just about what's easier and what what is generally more forgiving with the pencils. Now I think you can see the difference between these pencils from the second that you put down the first little bit of pencil on the paper. Look at how different just a light layer of the pencil looks. The Prismacolor do look kind of thicker and more waxy and the Polychromos do look kind of flatter. Now I think this will all make a lot more sense as we start drawing the cherries. Before we do that, I just wanna take a minute to have a look at the pencil quality. And generally speaking, I do think that the Polychromos pencils feel better made. The Prismacolor pencils are really quite skinny and they're very, very lightweight. They also have an open end isn't a major problem but having a sealed end like on the polychromos is just going to give the lead a little bit of extra protection. The polychromos pencils by contrast are visibly thicker. They feel like a more substantial pencil and they are a little bit heavier. That said I don't know how much you would notice either of these things if you weren't directly comparing the pencils. Now something that I've heard a few people mention that I personally haven't struggled with with the Prismacolor is the leads breaking. Now first because the leads are made from a softer material they do wear down faster you have to sharpen the prisma colors more often i've heard people saying that the leads are snapping i haven't really struggled with that and i don't know if it's down to the methods that i use and how lightly i build up the pencil or if it's to do with the pencil sharpener i use so something maybe to be aware of but as i say it's not something that i personally have struggled with so let's start drawing the same picture with both pencils. So pick to draw these cherries. They do have a certain amount of finer detail on this drawing, but it also has large areas of blocked in color. So I think it'll be a really good drawing to be able to compare. Now, before we start with this drawing, if you want to draw these cherries with me in a lot more detail, they are available on my Patreon, as well as loads of other colored pencil drawings using both Prismacolor and Polychromos. For each of the tutorials, I include really 
really in-depth instructions, all of the real-time footage, details of all of the colors I'll be using, sketch outlines, and of course the reference photo. And I have some faster drawings like these cherries, and also some much longer, more complicated drawings. I have tutorials on not only colored pencils, but also graphite and watercolor pencils. So do check out the link in the description. Now, one of the main keys to drawing with colored pencils is layering. So thinking about how both pencils layer, I have to say it's reasonably similar. I certainly find it possible to put one layer on top of another very, very easily with both. I'd say that the Prismacolor feel like they layer up faster. They get a more vibrant color quicker. Whereas the Polychromos, I'm probably able to build up more layers, which is both a good thing and a bad thing. Now, in terms of the details I'm able to add here, I don't feel it's too dissimilar. I'm probably able to get more crisp edges to the drawing with the Polychromos, simply because of being able to keep that sharper point. So I'm able to really firmly mark the edge of the cherries, mark the edge of the stems. Whereas with the Prismacolor pencils, it's maybe a little bit trickier to get that really crisp edge, just because you have to sharpen more often, the lead wears down so quickly in comparison. So now, whilst I'm drawing this, let's talk a little bit about the range of colors in both sets. And actually, I think they're both really good. Sometimes I try and draw with a set of color pencils and I just can't find the right colors to complete the drawing. It's just I don't feel like I've got enough of a selection. One of the most important kinds of colors to me are browns. Because I'm drawing particularly food, animals, generally, usually nature, I feel like it's so important to have a good range of browns. You don't need to have absolute loads but certainly a good range and I never feel like it's a struggle to find the right colors I need for a drawing with either of these sets. Now as I mentioned a little bit earlier I have my Patreon and because when I draw on there I will draw a picture with just Prismacolor for example or just Polychromos I'm frequently asked if I can provide the colors for the other pencil brand and finding comparisons between them finding the equivalent colors is never a drama. I do feel like in every set I have the equivalent colour in the other. So I'd say they're pretty similar on that. Now let's briefly talk about something called wax bloom. So this is where as a drawing gets older it gets this kind of milky cloudy look over it. That is called wax bloom. It's something that affects wax based pencils. Now I have heard I have read that wax bloom really really affects Prismacolor pencils. I have to say I've been using them for years and I have never noticed wax bloom. I don't know if that's down to how I store my drawings. I tend to store them in a dark box or if it's the paper that I'm using but you'll hear a lot wax bloom is an issue with Prismacolors and I personally haven't found this to be an issue. Now a really important thing to consider particularly if you're wanting to draw to display your drawings or if you're wanting to draw to sell your drawings is how light fast each of these pencils are. Now the light fast rating is how quickly you can expect the colors to fade in usual lighting conditions so in a frame on the wall out of direct sunlight. Polychromos are really really good in their light fast rating. Most of their pencils, almost all of their pencils are expected to last for over a hundred years. If there's any that are a little bit lower generally they're that you expect them to last over 50 years and it's usually pinks and reds that will be this lower rating. Prismacolor pencils are not as light fast. Some pencils are really good and have a very good rating but a lot of them really as I say the pinks and also the purples with Prismacolor just don't have as good of a rating. So it's something maybe to think about if you're wanting to sell or display your art and you're wanting to keep it for the long term. So now that I finished drawing both of these cherries let's compare the two. And I have to say, I think that they are very, very similar. In fact, they're so similar that I marked on the back of the Prismacolor one, which was the Prismacolor, just in case I couldn't tell the difference. Now, in actuality, I can feel that they're different. You can feel the more waxiness on the Prismacolor. And I think if you look really close at the Polychromos drawing, maybe it looks a little bit grainier. But I do also think I'm really nitpicking here. So although generally speaking, I would say that Prismacolor 
really good if you're wanting to block in solid areas, if you're wanting to have really smooth gradients. And broadly speaking, polychromos are great if you want to add fine detail. In actuality, you can create both with both. So you can see here, I drew this portrait with polychromos pencils and the skin is still looking nice and smooth. And here I added a lot of detail on this bunny with the Prismacolor. So I hope that that helps explain the differences between these two pencil brands. I can genuinely say that I do love both. But as I say, I think that they both just excel at different things. All right, happy drawing guys, and I'll see you in the next one.